Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make a potato sausage omelet. Cue the music. All right, well, thanks a lot for joining us today. If this is your first time joining us, though, please do me a favor, go down to the corner there, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that little notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well, you clicked on this video to have me show you how to make a sausage and potato omelet. So let's head on down here and see what our ingredients are. I've got one small onion, one potato, one link of some sausage that we're gonna be talking about, two eggs, and enough oil to cook the omelet and heat up the rest of our ingredients. We'll start doing our prep and then we'll head over to the frying pan. All right, I'm gonna start with our onion. I just wanna dice this up and I'm gonna try to keep all of the ingredients about the same size. So that's what we're looking at for the onion. Next, we'll get our potato. This is a fully cooked potato. I microwaved it for five minutes or on the potato setting of the microwave because we just wanna heat this, we just wanna saute this up or fry it up in the pan with the onion and the sausage and we're going to throw a little salt and pepper in there as well but i want to cut this up about the same size as the onion add that to our bowl with our ingredients then we got our sausage same thing you have seen me use this brand before in my shows um, it is an adele's product we'll talk about that a little bit later but i am this is a fully cooked product and we're just going to dice this up throw it in our bowl with our ingredients. We have all of our ingredients that we're gonna use. We've got our potato, our onion, and our sausage in here. Let's head over to our frying pan and start this omelet. All right, before we start anything, we've got our mise en place over here behind the pan. We've got our bowl of the ingredients. We've got our two eggs, salt and pepper. We have got our garnish ready for when we're done plating, our oil to cook everything in, and the utensils that we're gonna to need to cook this. And then we got our frying pans. One we're going to use for the ingredients to saute up. And that one we're going to do the omelet in. So let's focus on this pan right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat on. Medium to medium high heat. I'm going to add about two thirds of this oil into the pan. We're going to let that get hot. Set our ingredients right there, get it ready to put in the pan. All we want to do is get the onion sauteed in that uh, pan. And when that's done, the rest of the ingredients should just follow along because they're both fully cooked, the sausage and the potato. The onion, we just wanna make sure we get a nice translucent um, appearance on it. So the oil is in. And I should mention that behind me, I have the toaster all ready to go to put the toast down as well. So all this should come up all together because we have a nice solid mise en place. All right, as you can see, our ingredients are starting to cook in here. I'm just gonna mix these all up. Leave it on a medium heat while we go and work on our omelet here. Let's move Mr. Camera. All right, same thing. We're gonna put the pan on medium to medium high heat. Pour our oil in there. Crack our eggs into the bowl. Hope that's in the shot, I can't see. Then we're just gonna whip up our eggs. I'm gonna get out of the camera for that because we are going to be adding this to the pan. Make sure your oil's all over the pan so it doesn't stick. If you have a good pan, it shouldn't do that anyway. All right, I'm gonna add the eggs. While that's going, we can clean up our mess a bit. All right, like I've done on so many other omelet shows, we are just going to start moving our cooked egg on the outside of the pan, allowing the uncooked egg to fold out. Let that go just a little bit. Once it starts going, it goes though. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little salt and pepper as well. See how it's cooking around the edge of the rim? 
We're just going to push that, tilt our pan, allowing the cooked, uncooked egg to flow in to take its spot. Do the same thing over here. So basically you've got an omelet, you've got a, a, your egg in there, the top raw egg is underneath now in cooking. I'm going to back out just a little bit for the flip here. Always shake your pan like this to make sure nothing's sticking before you do that and flip it. Now I'm going to turn the heat off because there's adequate heat now on the bottom with this pan that's transferring good heat. I'm going to throw some cheese in here. One thing I did not have in my knees or even introduced, but you can't have an omelet without cheese. So I'm just going to throw that right there. And we did talk about the sausage like I promised we would. This is an Adele's product like we talked about, uh, pineapple and bacon smoked chicken sausage. Like I said, it's fully cooked so you really don't have to worry about uh, cooking the sausage too much. You just want to cook your onions and basically heat up the other ingredients, the potatoes and the sausage in there. Very good product. They have a website that I'll leave in a link down in below with all the other groovy links that I got there on Facebook as well. Our potatoes and onions and sausage are almost done. I'm going to hit those with a little salt and pepper as well. Now you can let the onions go longer if you want. You can let them go until their their color changes and everything. But I like mine a little crispy. Now we're going to move this over a little bit so I got some room here. We're just going to take our onion sausage and get that off so I don't burn my arm here. And we're going to put whatever we want right in for the omelet. A little bit of everything, kind of an equal mixture. There is plenty left over for more omelets or for whatever you want to use it for. Slide this back over. Now we're going to plate. Remember, let me back out so I got room here. You want to make sure you use a plate and then you take the round edge. Pan got a little cold waiting for it. So. All right, so when you do plate it, you want to make sure that if you're using a rounded plate, that when you drop the omelet down on there and flip it over with the pan, the ingredients inside are underneath there and tucked in nicely, and the rounded edge of the omelet is on the rounded edge of the plate, just like that. And then also, if you're going to be bringing it out to a customer, you want to set it down in front of them so they can see what's inside of there in their omelet. So I'm going to go ahead and finish plating this up, making it look real pretty. Then we're going to come back. We're going to take some really awesome photos of it for social media. We're going to put those pictures into the timeline of this video with some really groovy music. And then we're going to come back and we're going to give this a taste. So enjoy the music. Enjoy the pictures. So there we go, we got our omelet all nice and fluffy. Those ingredients are in there, tucked away nicely with that cheese. I'm going to take a bite of this now so we can see what this tastes like. Go ahead, I got egg in there, piece of the sausage and potato. A lot of different pro pro profiles in there. You've got the tanginess, of the pineapple in there. You can taste that in that sausage. You got that earthiness of the, of the potato. Um, of course the savoriness of that, the meaty texture of that uh, sausage is in there. The bite of the onion and then the fluffiness of the egg and that cheese in there just kind of brings it all together. Wonderful omelet, a potato, um, sausage omelet. Go ahead and make this at home. It's very easy to make. Remember to check out all my groovy links down below in the description box. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you comment below, like this video, and then share it with everyone. Everyone that you know. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you again next time. Stay safe. God bless. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.